everyone, welcome to part four of my energizing series. Today we're going to begin standing in our mountain pose. So just take a moment to find that posture, just really engaging through the legs, engaging through the core, rolling those shoulders back down by the sides. Feel nice and tall in your mountain pose. And we're going to start today with a three-part breath. So this is really going to help you to connect to your breath and to notice the separate parts of the breath, which is just going to help you to understand the respiratory system and just really fire up through the body. So gently close the eyes. And we're going to take an inhale for the count of five, four, three, two, one, holding the breath here for five, four, three, two, one, exhaling for five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to your natural breath. And this time we're going to take an inhale now for six, five, four, three, two, one, hold the breath for six, five, four, three, two, one, release the breath for six, five, four, three, two, one. And on the next inhale, inhaling now for five, four, three, two, one, hold the breath for four, three, two, one, and let go for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Coming back to your natural breath. So we're just taking different lengths of inhales, holds, and exhales here, just to really let that breath come into the body, just allowing resistance here bringing some energy into the mind and body. So we're gonna take this one more time, but this time we're gonna inhale for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold the breath for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let it go completely for seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Coming back to your natural breath. Keep those eyes closed. And gently blinking the eyes open, coming back to the present moment. And we're gonna just see if we can really engage through the whole body today before we start. So we wanna go through this root to rise approach. So you wanna be really grounded through the feet, but you want the rest of the body to be rising up towards the sky. So as you take a breath in, I just want you to lift all 10 toes off the ground here. And as you breathe out, starting from the pinky toes, gently place them all the way back down. So this is really gonna to help to ground your feet here. So you're gonna feel nice and stable. And then we're gonna work through engaging the calf muscles, lifting slightly at the knees, lifting through the thighs. And you're gonna just tuck that tailbone under slightly. So you don't wanna be arching or rounding. You just wanna have a gentle tuck, really engaging through the core, opening through the chest, rolling those shoulders back and just bringing those hands out to the sides, lifting through the chin slightly, feeling nice and strong into Dathana. And on the next inhale, just rising those arms out in front of you and clenching through the fist. And you're gonna take just a few rotations of the wrists here, allowing those wrists to warm up. And back the other way now. Take a few breaths. And releasing the clench of the fist, rising the arms to the sky. And you're gonna interlace those fingers Pressing those palms towards the ceiling really creates some length in the body here. Normally in yoga we say to roll the shoulders down, but this time you want to hug those shoulders all the way up towards the ears, finding a nice stretch through the spine. Take some breaths. 
and maybe seeing if we can come into a gentle balance here. So you're just gonna gently tilt the heels off the ground, coming onto those toes. See if you can find that point of focus. So you're really creating length through the whole body here. Take a couple of breaths. And gently lowering the heels down to the ground, just removing the lace of the fingers and you're gonna bring that right hand to grab onto the left wrist. Take a breath in. As we breathe out, bringing those arms all the way over to the right side and see if you can just sass out through that left hip. So creating a nice banana shape with the body, allowing that left side body to really open up. Take some deep breaths. Fine length. One more breath. Inhale as we come back to center. Change the switch of the wrist. So the left hand now grabs onto that right, lip, right wrist. So the left hand now grabs onto that right wrist. Really rise up here, take a breath in. Exhale, tilting over now to the left hand side, sassing out through the right hip this time. Fine length through that whole side body. Taking a few breaths. Inhale, coming all the way back to center. Exhale, releasing those arms down by the side. Give those arms a little shake. They've worked very hard already. And we're gonna move now into a nice active squat. So you're just gonna separate the feet and you want those feet to just come slightly wider than the mat here, allowing the heels to face towards one another and the toes to face out towards the side. And you're gonna just bend into those knees, really sinking down into the hips, separating the feet slightly more if you need. Find a nice active squat. Engaging through the quadriceps, keeping that spine nice and tall. As we inhale, we're gonna rise the arms to the sky, straighten through the legs. As we exhale, we sink. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, we sink. Inhale, rise. Exhale, sink. And this time, placing those palms on top of the thighs. So we're gonna take a breath in. And as we breathe out, that right shoulder's gonna come all the way towards center. Take a breath here. Inhale, all the way back up. Exhale, this time left shoulder comes to center, bringing that right shoulder behind, find that twist. One breath here. Inhale, all the way back up. And as we exhale, we're gonna place those hands all the way down to the ground. And you're just gonna step all the way back through to your downwards facing dog. Find that gorgeous stretch through the back of the legs, bring the gaze down towards the feet. Really try and press those heels down towards the ground here. And as we take a breath in, rise the right leg all the way to the sky. Breath out, lowering that right foot to the outside now of that right hand, dropping the knee down. And we're gonna move into a gentle lizard. So, so take a breath in here. And as we breathe out, see if you can just walk those hands forward slightly, allowing a nice opening through the hip. Take a breath in, walking those hands all the way back. Tucking the left toes under, lifting that left knee off the ground and see if you can step that left foot all the way back now to the outside of the left hand, moving back into our active squat. Inhale as we rise. Exhale as we lower. Inhale, rising up. Exhale, lower. One more inhale, we rise. Exhale, lower, planting those hands back down on the ground, step back to your downwards dog. Taking one breath here. On the next inhale, that left leg's gonna rise towards the sky. Exhale, stepping the left foot all the way through to the outside of the left hand, dropping that right knee down to the ground, maybe separating those legs slightly if you need, coming into our lizard pose now. Take a breath in through the nose. And as we breathe out, walking those hands just slightly out in front for one breath. On the next inhale, walking those hands back to center, tucking the right toes under, lifting through the right knee and just stepping all the way back to your active squat. Inhale, let the arms rise straight in the legs. 
exhale lower inhale rise exhale lower planting those hands back down on the ground working through a vinyasa so stepping those feet all the way back to your plank pose take a breath in exhale moving through chaturanga lowering all the way down onto the belly untucking the toes here as we take a breath in pressing through the palms lifting the chest up to your baby cobra exhale lower Inhale, pressing the palms into the ground. Elbows come together, peel the chest. Exhale, tuck those toes under, rise those hips all the way up towards the sky, downwards facing dog. As we take a breath in, we're gonna rise that right leg all the way to the sky. As we take a breath out, planting it all the way in between the hands now. So let those hands frame that right foot. Turning that back foot here to 45 degrees. Take a breath in, rise the arms to the sky, warrior one. One breath here. Inhale with me. And as we exhale, we're gonna turn that pelvis to face the long side of the mat here, turning that back foot to 90 degrees and just windmilling the arms down to come parallel to the ground. Bring that gaze over to the right hand, find your warrior two, take a breath in. As we breathe out, bending through that right elbow, bringing it down onto the knee, stretching the left arm overhead, side angle pose, breathing in. Breathing out, reaching that left arm all the way back over, down onto that left thigh, stretching that right arm overhead. Reverse warrior. One breath. Inhale, come back to warrior two. Just bringing those feet slightly closer and just straightening through that right leg and we're going to move into our triangle pose so take a nice deep breath in here and as we breathe out we're going to tilt those arms like someone's pulling us through that right hand all the way over to the right hand side face those palms towards that long side of the mat take a breath in as we breathe out lowering all the way to our tree konasana triangle pose so letting that left arm rise towards the sky bringing that right hand either down onto the ground like I am, or you can come up onto the shin, to the ankle, up as far as you like to make this comfortable for you. Bring the gaze up to the sky, take a couple of breaths. On the next inhale, windmilling the arms all the way back round, bending through that right knee into warrior two. Take a breath in, turning that back foot to 45 degrees, bringing that pelvis to face the front of the mat, let the arms rise. Exhale, lower those hands, moving back through our vinyasa. So stepping through chaturanga, lowering to the ground, untuck the toes, press the palms into the mat, draw those elbows together, inhale as we rise. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rise. Tucking those toes under as we exhale, rising the hips all the way back through to our downwards facing dog. On the next inhale, let that left leg rise to the sky this time. Exhale, stepping that left foot all the way through. Find your warrior one. So the back foot turns to 45 degrees. The arms rise to the sky. Take a breath. Take an inhale with me. As we exhale, windmilling those arms down to come parallel to the ground, that back foot now turns to 90 degrees, bringing that gaze over to the left hand. Take a breath in. As we breathe out, bending through the left elbow, bringing it onto that left leg and stretching the right arm overhead, opening up through the right side body. Take a breath. Inhale all the way back up through warrior two. Exhale, lower the right hand down to the right leg, stretching overhead with the left arm this time. Inhale, rising all the way back to warrior two. Just stepping those feet slightly closer, moving into Trikonasana triangle pose. Straightening through both the legs here, take a breath in. As we breathe out, just stretching over to the left hand side with that left hand. And once you can't stretch anymore, face the palms to the long side of the mat 
and gently tilt the body all the way down to your triangle pose bringing that gaze up to the right hand take a breath on the next inhale moving all the way back through to your warrior two bending through the left knee bring the gaze over to the left hand side inhale back foot turns to 45 degrees pelvis face the front of the mat bring those arms to the sky virabhadrasana warrior one take a breath in exhale planting those hands all the way back down to the ground tucking those toes working through our vinyasa breathing in breathing out lowering through chaturanga untucking the toes inhale pressing through to your cobra exhale we lower inhale pressing through those hands coming all the way through to a narrow leg child's pose so sinking those hips down onto the heels keeping those knees together stretch those arms out nice and long take a moment to find your breath to slow the heart rate find your center find your calm Just one more breath here. And slowly lifting the forehead off the ground, sliding those hands all the way up. And we're going to come into our final posture for today, into our camel pose. So what I want you to do is just separate those knees slightly. And we're just going to rise up through the hips so you want to be nice and tall here and you're going to bring those hands all the way behind you so the palms are coming onto the coccyx and the lower back really draw those elbows together allowing those shoulder blades to come nice and close lifting through the chin take a breath in and as we breathe out we're going to gently see if we can take a back bend so just tilting that head behind us only coming as far as feels comfortable if you want to take this to the next level maybe dropping those hands down onto the heels creating our full camel pose really dropping that head all the way back looking out behind you taking two breaths here and if you're in your full camel just bringing those hands all the way back to that lower back coming all the way up sinking down into your hero's pose and just taking a few gentle twists so just bringing that right hand onto the outside of the left leg taking a slight twist here and the other way realigning that spine and just slowly bringing those knees all the way back together bringing hands to heart center taking a nice deep breath in through the nose with me exhale sigh out the mouth inhale breathing in through the nose gently parting those lips and sighing out the mouth let it all go take a minute to scan through the body noticing any sensations noticing a change in the body from the start to the end and just slowly blink those eyes all the way back open give yourself a smile namaste thank you so much everyone for joining me for this four-part energizing series